hi guys and welcome back to my channel so as you guys might know it is bird nesting season and that means you can get a lot of cool shots one of my favorite pictures that i've ever taken was this osprey head and it was taken on a nest Recently, I've had the privilege to photograph five baby Carolina wrens. So today I'm gonna walk you through the do's and don'ts of photographing a bird nest. In this video, I'm gonna use the Carolina wren nest as an example. The mom Carolina wren has been a very good mom. She has been extremely busy feeding her babies Turn your volume up to hear the chicks. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Make sure if you like this video to subscribe and like this video. So let's move on. I'm doing a very helpful video for you guys today. Um, I think it's gonna be very helpful. Um, so I'm gonna do the do's and don'ts of photographing a bird's nest. And I'm gonna show you some really helpful tips. Okay guys, so let's get started on the do's of photographing a bird nest. So the first thing you need to know is know which bird you're photographing. So if your bird is endangered, um, then you should probably um, be more weary of the nest, but if it's pretty common, then you can probably um, be less worried. So the next thing is try to shoot with your longest vocal length lens so that you don't have to go super close to the nest and you can kind of keep your distance. Okay guys, this one's pretty important. So you need to know the signs. In other words, know bird behavior. So if the mama bird is not coming to her nest, um, back up and keep backing up until she does come back to her nest. Okay guys, let's talk about the don'ts of photographing a bird nest. So first of all, make sure not to disturb the nest, so don't come too close. And especially if it's a big bird of prey, um, the mom could attack you. So it's for the bird's safety and yours. Okay guys, so I know this one's a little bit obvious, but I'm gonna bring it up anyways. Never pick up baby birds or their eggs. So if the nest is hidden by a twig or something like that, never remove anything around the nest. Um, predators like raccoons could actually smell the trail and it could lead them to the eggs. All right guys, so let's start photographing some Carolina wrens. So the mom was just here, so it might take a while for her to come back. Um, she just came and fed her babies a big fat slug. So yeah, that was pretty cool to watch. Not all male birds feed the baby birds with the female, but with Carolina wrens, the male does actually feed the babies too. So that's pretty cool too. So sometimes um, I'll see the male and the female uh, feed the babies. And the babies are also pretty loud. There is the hummingbird, guys. So just so you guys know, the Carolina Red Mom, usually she hops on the porch over there and then she comes onto the grill maybe or like somewhere on the ramp. And then she'll go like on a pole close to her nest 
Oh, she's here. Hope you saw that guys. You can still hear the babies. Okay guys, so here's my picture that I got. There's the picture I got, guys. I think it looks pretty good. She's somewhere in the bush. Okay, guys, I don't know if she's still in the bush or if she flew off. But when she comes back, I'm gonna give her some more space. Back up. I'm gonna talk about a useful tip. So if the mom is not coming to their nest, that means that you're too close or they feel stressed. And I would suggest backing up a little bit or a lot. Um, and then if they still don't come, back up more and so on. So once they feel comfortable, so you, when you're photographing a bird's nest, you want the mom and dad to feel very comfortable around you. So if they don't, then you need to leave the nest alone or back up. Okay guys, so she just came, but I wasn't quite ready. But I did get a video of it, so here's the video. And just so you know guys, my next video is gonna be an awesome video. It's gonna be, um, I'm gonna do, so I've been doing a video of the baby birds um, each day. I'm gonna put all those clips together and I'm gonna make a video of them growing each day. So it's gonna be Carolina Wrens from day one to day whatever. So yeah. Okay guys, I'll show you a time lapse of me photographing the mom and the baby birds and all of that right now. And I'm gonna go ahead, after that, I'm gonna let you guys go. Um, I hope you enjoyed my video and I hope you enjoyed all of these uh, good tips for photographing a bird's nest. Bye!